Juan Nepomuceno Seguin was a member of the leading family of San Antonio de Bear. He served as a Texian military commander during the Texas Revolution and a senator for the Republic of Texas. He was a political leader of San Antonio under Mexico, the Texas Republic, and the United States. At the Alamo when the siege began, Seguin was sent out by William Barrett Travis to seek reinforcements just prior to the final assault. He fought at San Jacinto and was ordered back to the Alamo to accept the surrender of the Mexican troops that had defeated his comrades. Almost a year later, in February 1837, Seguin returned to bury the remains of his comrades. His speech, here quoted in one of the largest newspapers of the New Republic, would enshrine the memory of the Alamo defenders forever. Yes, soldiers and fellow citizens, we are witness to the meritorious acts of those who, when faced with a reversal in fortune during the late contest, chose to offer their lives to the ferocity of the enemy. A barbarous enemy who on foot herded them like animals to this spot and then proceeded to reduce them to ashes. These remains, which we have had the honor to carry on our shoulders, are the remains of those valiant heroes who died at the Alamo. Yes, my friends, they preferred to die a thousand times than to live under the yoke of a tyrant. What a brilliant example! deserving of being noted in the pages of history. I invite all of you to join me in holding the venerable remains of our worthy companions before the eyes of the entire world to show it that Texas shall be free and independent. Or to a man, we will die gloriously in combat. <laughs>